Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a tattoo to uh, someone in your photos and it's going to be very simple and very easy to do. So the first thing we need to do is actually find the image of the tattoo we want to use. And I have this tattoo image right here. Uh, I want to make it look really hardcore and just uh, just just see what it looks like on this guy just to, just to see how it uh, will affect with the skin using colors. And so I have this image right here, and all I'm going to do to start off with is take this image and just drag it onto my model here. So I'm going to drag it over to the tab, drag right there, and it's a little large, so I'm going to click the Command or Control T button, and I'm going to scale it down. So here we go. I'm just going to kind of place it on the upper arm here. So I'm going to turn it just to try to conform to his arm. Uh, let's do right around here. Maybe rotate it a little more. So roughly right there. All right, so now we need to work on blending the tattoo in with his skin. And so this is gonna be require a couple steps, but before we do anything, uh, one of the things we need to do is convert this to a smart object. Now I'm gonna make a video about this a little bit, uh, a little bit later, but uh, when, when, how do you convert your, your work to a smart object uh, is just by right clicking on the layer and say convert to smart object. Now what it does is it doesn't actually visually do anything to your photo, but it will eventually allow you to change uh, the image going forward without having to redo a whole bunch of steps. Like I said, I'll make another video on that in just a second, uh, but I wanted to show you guys how to do that in this video so you have it going forward. All right, so now we need to work on blending it in, and what we're gonna do is use two, two different layer adjustments, and that is a curves layer and a hue saturation layer. So I'm going to click on the hue or the curves layer first. I'm going to go ahead and click curves. And what I want to do is kind of blend it in a little bit. So I'm going to play with this and you can see I, I got I got something going on here. I'm actually messing with the entire image and I don't want to do that. I only want to mess with the tattoo image. So I'm just going to clip this curves layer to the uh, tattoo layer. And the way you do that is by holding the alt or option key between the two layers that you want to clip and uh, click there you see you have an arrow with a box there you're just going to click there and now all the adjustments made are only going to affect the tattoo image so i'm just going to play with trying to blending it in blend it in there a little bit uh, i'm just going to mess around with this and it's not really working too well so now we need to use a blending mode on the tattoo layer so a lot of ones that you can use are the overlay uh, right here you can see how it blends in just a little bit uh, you can use soft light or you can use hard light i'm actually going to use soft light so right there, you can see it kind of blends in. It brings a little bit more of the texture into the skin uh, down there, and it, it blends in a little bit better. So now let's go back to the curves layer and play around with it. Uh, I'm looking for where it starts to fade into the skin a little bit while taking a little bit of color out because you want it, usually tattoos are not really extremely bright. So I'm going to use that one right there, that, that rough curve right there. Uh, something similar to your photos should work fine. All right, and now we're going to do the hue saturation uh, hue saturation adjustment, and the only reason we're doing that is to take out some of the color. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to clip again this to the bottom, uh, the the curves layer, so it only affects the tattoo. And now I'm just going to take the saturation down a little bit, play with the lightness, see if I can uh, blend it in a little bit more. So probably be right around there. Now that looks pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that because it doesn't stand out and, and it is bright as, a, as a, a, just an image on an arm would be. So one more thing to kind of give this a little more realism is to blur the image. A lot of people miss that step. And the reason you want to do that is because this image is sort of pixelated. You can see the individual pixels making up the image. And the reason you want to blur it is because this the, uh, most of the images that you're applying this to are not tack sharp. And so it's going to look a little out of place. So I'm going to click on this uh, the tattoo layer, go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm just going to blur it just a tiny, tiny bit, not even one pixel. I'm going to play around with 0.3 to 0.5 pixels. Uh, let's go down to 0.3 right there. So it didn't make a huge change, but I'm going to toggle it off, toggle it back on. You can see, you can see the uh, difference it made. So that it actually works out pretty well. It blends in pretty well. Uh, and if you want to, again, play around with the blending modes, you can do hard light and see how that works. Too, too, too bright. 
uh, overlay works pretty well, but uh, Softlight is probably one of the best ones to use. So that is quick and easy how you uh, how you will add a tattoo to your subjects in uh, in Photoshop. Very quick, very simple, and it's kind of fun to do just to play around with and uh, see how it works. So hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tip uh, in Adobe Photoshop on how to add tattoos. Uh, I look for the uh, next video coming up where I'm going to talk about the importance of using smart objects in, in projects like this. It's going to be uh, kind of an in-depth look at what smart objects are. So uh, thank you for joining me in this video. This is Jordan from sleeklens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.